The Tiger Speaks to You, Tales from the Wild Imagination. Three friends living together, strange as strange can be. Mouse, sparrow, sausage, you'll sit down for tea. Three friends, three friends, three friends, three friends. The Mouse, the Sparrow, and the Sausage. A Grimm's Fairy Tale. Once, strange as strange can be, three friends lived together. A mouse, a sparrow, and a sausage. A sausage? Why, yes, a sausage. These friends decided that living on your own was lonely, and sharing together was much Better. So they set up house and each had their own particular task. The sparrow's job was to fly to the woods and fetch twigs and bring them back for their fire so they could make soup. The mouse's job was to scamper down to the stream and to fetch water. The sausage's job was to chop the vegetables, put them in the pot, and then jump into the pot and stir everything up. The sausage loved to wiggle his bottom until everything was stirred. And so, these three friends, strange as strange could be, lived together in harmony. Well, a chaffin happened to notice these three friends getting along so well. And in a quiet moment, the chaffinch turned to the sparrow and said, Sister Sparrow, I see you're working very hard these days. I, I notice you fetching twigs and wood and working. It's a hard life. But I like my work. I'm very good at gathering twigs said the sparrow. Well, um, that's all well and good, but look at the mouse. All the mouse does is fetch a little bit of water. And the sausage, well, I never, the sausage just jumps into a pot and wiggles his bottom. You do all the hard work, said the chaffinch. Well, try as she might. The little sparrow couldn't get these words out of her head. She soon took no joy in gathering twigs, and she looked most suspiciously at her friends, especially the sausage. After a few days, the mouse and the sausage turned to her and said, Dear little sparrow, you seem sad. Are you quite all right? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm not, said the sparrow. I won't be gathering twigs any more. Why not, said the mouse. Why not, said the sausage. Well, it's because I do all the hard work, and the mouse just gets water, and you just wiggle your bottom in the pot. I want us all to change jobs. Well, the sausage and the mouse weren't happy about that, but after a time they decided that they would take off the sausage's hat, and they would write the names of the jobs on pieces of paper, and they would each draw a piece from the hat, and that would give them their new job. Well, the sausage was first to go, and he pulled out of the hat the piece of paper that said, fetch wood. The sparrow's job was to fetch water, and the mouse's job was to stir the pot. Well, that first day, off set the sausage, rolling along, rolling its body into the wood. Well, they waited all day, and sausage didn't return. And so by evening time, there was no soup. 
Off they went into the forest, Mouse and Sparrow looking for their dear friend, calling out, Sausage! Sausage! Where are you, Sausage? They came upon a dog in the wood, and they said, Brother dog, brother dog, have you seen a sausage? I have, said the dog. Where is he? Where is he? said Sparrow. In my belly. Sausages is good. I likes sausages. You ate him? You ate him? Yes, sausages are good, said the dog. Well. Poor Sausage was no more. Mouse and Sparrow returned sadly to their house. They cried, they sobbed, and their sadness was great. But eventually these two friends realized they had to get on with their lives. And so once more the Sparrow went to the woods to fetch twigs. And when she came back, they made a fire, and they put the pot upon the fire. And when the pot was boiling, the little mouse jumped in, stirring the pot. But the water was boiling, it was too hot. The sausage had only ever jumped in when the water was cold, and so the little mouse died. In her panic, the sparrow flew down to the well to fetch water, hoping to put the fire out, but she was so flustered that she fell into the well and was drowned. And that was the end of these three friends, strange as strange could be, who lived together and enjoyed each other's company. A mouse, a sparrow, and a sausage lived together, and sad was the day that Sparrow ever listened to the mean words of Chaffinch. Three friends living together, strange as strange can be. Mouse, sparrow, sausage, all sit down for tea. Three friends, three friends, three friends. Friends, three friends living together, strange as strange can be. A mouse, a sparrow, a sausage, living comfortably. Three friends, three friends, three friends. Friends living together, strange as strange can be. A mouse, a sparrow, a sausage, sharing naturally. Three friends, three friends, three friends, three friends. And don't go listening to no chaffing.